point. The next type of data that the meteorologist is going to analyze is the dew point. So the dew point, if you remember, that's the temperature at where water condenses, where the air cannot hold any more moisture in it, and so the air starts to condense, whether it's on a blade of grass or whether that's happening in the rain. So th when we connect dew points, or when we connected temperatures before, we made isotherms. So when we connect dew points, we're making what is called isodrosotherms. I'm going to do this in green. So iso, if my pen works, iso drosotherm and those are areas of equal dew point okay so isodrosotherms that is the technical name for it we want to connect areas that have the same and so we just did all the temperature so I'm going to just draw one line and I'm going to leave you to do the rest of them all right, so I'm going to just as a recap, I want to do 40s. So I'll start with 40 again. So once again, Seattle, the dew point is about the same as the air temperature. Very interesting. So I'm going to draw that 40. Oh my, and that 40 is going to go all the way down to Los Angeles. And where do I go from there? Well, those are 20. Oh, there's a 40 in Texas. So I'm going to have to go all the way around 40 through Missouri. And it looks like, okay, now I get to, if I, once I get to Indiana, do I go above? If I did, I'd be between 20 and 30. So 40 is not between 20 and 30. Okay, if I went more towards New York, 30 and 50, yes, I'm going to have to go right there in between, right through Massachusetts. So here we go. 40, 40, 40, and through the middle there. And this is the isodrosotherm for 40 degrees. So this is where the air will not be able to hold any more moisture. This is where dew will form at 40 degrees. So right now I'm going to have you continue the rest of the map and do try to connect. Do the other, all of the other numbers, and you can check in on the next video to see how you did.